até poquito. No te quiero matar. Sandra Tate. This is the man, Joseph Moreno. Always my pleasure to meet a fascinating, attractive young lady. Won't you sit down? <laughs> Would you like a little wine? Oh, oh no, I know what your drink is. Vanji, bourbon on the rocks for Miss Tate, and the usual for Erica. <laughs> Isn't this wonderful? Good grape. Nice warm sun. Ladies all nice and tan and happy. Oh, by the way, uh, how was Mexico? You know, I, I, I've been planning on going down there someday. I'd like to see one of those bullfights. Mexico's a pain in the ass. I can't wait to get my hands on the bastard that set me up for that bust. <laughs> well, can we get on with it? Why did you spring me, and what's the price? Well, we all know how tough you are. Big question is, how smart are you? Don't you know? You know what I drink. <laughs> That's right. Uh, I know a few other things about you. Uh, the call girl operation 68, the fencing operation in 70, and the disappearance of Arnie Bono, Seattle, last year. You know, I thought that was all cool, didn't you? There's not a cop around that can connect me with Bono. Maybe. You see, what I've put together here is a very comprehensive organization. We deliver hostesses, personal escorts, private secretaries, and uh, campaign people. Whatever a man needs, a man gets. A kind of a girl for rent. Where do I fit in? Well, what I need is a top-level vice president, one who can take charge of operation and personnel. All the women you see here are what you might call upper management. They're all tops in their field. I invited all of them here to meet you personally. You see that young lady? Her name is Lorraine Wilson. She used to be vice president of the American Bank Note Company until they found her making notes for herself. She now handles my finance payroll and payoffs. 
Funny money? Oh, we do get some calls for that. Ginny Masters. She runs our call girl operation. That's Donna. She's our best call girl. Till she had man trouble and wound up here in this business. Who's the bookworm? Bookworm? <laughs> That's Tracy Goodman. Remember that uh, quarter mill jewelry job in Bel Air last year? She's the brain, the mastermind. And not only that, she fences the stuff too. Everybody has a territory. You get the idea? <laughs> and Erica here? She works for me. She's my enforcer. Oh, don't take it personally. But then don't take it too lightly either. She's my insurance. No sweat. When do I start? Halloran. Vincent Xavier Halloran. You know him? He works for the State Crime Commission, and he's on our payroll. You might say he's a... Another righteous lawyer humping for the mayor's job. He's a real cutie. He wants me to throw him some small fry so he can build a reputation. And says, if I don't, he'll blow the whistle. You want me to hit him? Well, I'll tell you, when a man gets to be my age, he likes to keep things simple. Study that file and let me know when you decide to do it. Remember. This has got to be foolproof. 